to the end. Let's play some games, a rising gamer. Let's start the show. Hey guys, long time no see. It's me, your host, the one and only Horizon Gamer. Now, if you didn't watch the video game wars, you didn't maybe catch word of the new Dragon Age game coming, so I figured let's get back into spirits by playing the entire series all over again. I've been a fan of it ever since the first one, played the second one, played Inquisition, so I am going to be more than thrilled to play this all over again. It took forever, but I finally got a way to record the PS3. But hey, no complaints now because we're good, we're recording, we got more content to go through now. Just gotta get through all the load screens. Bioware with their open worlds were pretty big on load screens. Improved coercion. Ah, and so is the Golden City, blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection. For it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Canticle of Threnet Threnides? 813. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. Figures. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. Why am I not surprised? They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. Oh dear. They returned as monsters, the first of the dogs. Bravo, guys, bravo. They became a blight upon the lands. Unstoppable and relentless. Ugh. Undateable, too. The dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall. And from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Oh dear. Barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. Ooh. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. Idiots. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. And now they return. with my own eyes what lies on the horizon a storm is coming maker help us all mm. great startup all right here comes the best part now the character creation uh, let's see Male or female? Um, yeah, male will do. Uh, elf, dwarf, human. I kind of want to make you human for this playthrough. 
and all the others. It's nothing against the races. I just like being human. I'm generic. And you have basically all the buffs. Let's see. And just look at the L's real quick. And then the dwarf. Yep, human is. Now, do we want to be a warrior, mage, or a rogue? Typically, I make this guy a warrior, and Dragon Age 2, I went rogue. Inquisition, I went back to warrior, but hey, we can flip a coin on that one later. Uh, yep, warrior. In which case, the only background I get to be is the human noble. So... I don't get to experience the other many different stories. Hey, if you want to try them out, be more than willing to play it on PS3. It's a fun game. And we'll just go with... With this uh, generic name at first. With Aiden. Uh, I don't want to go too crazy in details as far as this character... Uh, we'll go with one of the presets. I'll probably tweak one of the skins. Let's see. Um, uh, he, that one was alright before. Uh, I just want to make his skin a little darker. Uh, there we go. That should be good right there. I have lost the spell. How do you do? Hmm. Greetings. Cocky. Greetings. Charmed, I'm sure. Greetings. Charmed, I'm sure. I lost I the know. spell. Usually it's hard because it's not like this the character actually nothing. talks, but. Move aside, please. How do you do? Cocky fits me Damn. better. Lost the spell. Hmm. New weapon. Scoot. Greetings. How do you do? Right, casting, focus. Yeah, I feel like Cocky's gonna be the winner of this one. I think that's it. And we're just gonna be on normal. Yeah, I'm not gonna try and kill myself in nightmare mode. It's been too long that I played this, so. Consider my skills rusty. Ah, uh, the load screens. How I had not missed this back in the PS4 days. Oh, it was so shortened. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of High Ever, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the Crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. Which I'm sure our chances are going to be pretty high. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. Is no, that no. Tim Curry? The appearance of the Darkspawn in the South has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the King a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. But we both had less grey in our hair then. Oh my god, that is Tim Curry. God knows I miss that voice. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Papa, I didn't see you there. Why is my Hal, nickname you remember Pop? my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. That's good to see you too, Owl Hal. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. Uh, I'd like that. Good. She goes on about your prowess as a warrior. I think you have an admirer, young man. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. 
While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Woo, king of the castle. I'll do my best. Now that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. Banging out the chest. Gotta love that call. Yeah, at once. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. Which? I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Oh yeah, mighty warriors, you know, fought the Darkspawn, you know, basics. We just watched the intro video. They are the heroes of legend, who ended the blights and saved us all. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the south. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. Well, way to stop my progress, father. You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? Oh, yeah, that's easy enough. Just send Gilmore. Easy. In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Okay, brother. I'll go find him. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. You got it, boss. Ah, uh, the saving content. Please do not turn off your system. How you will follow me to the end of time. Fergus! Where are you, Fergus? I need to find you, Fergus. I believe it's this way. The arrow shows that way. Oh, Fergus! Where are you, Fergus? There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Ah, there you are, Gilmore. Perfect. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again. And is threatening to leave. Oh, sure. What has he done this time? No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. That's a good thing I am the master. That would be wise, before Nan tears down the walls. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Well then, lead the way. Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Fine, let's go deal with the uh, Nan. Off to the kitchen. Yep, there's the dog. I can hear from here. And the screams. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Wow, uh, no need to trim like that. Woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Not gonna happen. And first of all, is that any way you speak to your lord? I'm Just grateful. get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. All right, let's go get the dog. 
Oh, that's a big Mabari dog. Barking at bags. Oh, Good job. Look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Wagging the tail. Oh, he's telling me something's here. What's going on? It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait. Did you hear that? Here we go. Let's see, what do I want to name the dog? Um, how about Victor with a K, just to be interesting in this realm? It is Victor, the dog. Oh, I was oh. hoping for something rat. more exciting. Yes! Yay! These creatures First fight of the game, giant rats. Easy going. kill. Yes. That's a lot of All these right. things. Going. And oh my god, they're bleeding everywhere. Yes. Giant rats. Jeez. It's like the start oh of every god. bad adventure tale my blood we have on tell. us. My god. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. Yeah, good boy. But look at this all covered in rats blood. Those are rats wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. Yeah, good job. Gonna take a ring. Now, um, boy, I was wondering if you could do me a favor. Could you clean me up? Ah, nice and clean, blood free. Thank you, boy. Thank you, Victor. Uh, let's just pet him real quick. Oh, that's so adorable. Well, let's get out of here. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Um. He's just being a dog. Look at him now. Snuck into my larder once again and makes off like a free thief, he does. Oh, mistress, there are rats in the larder. Big ones. Well, oh, it looks like we the tried dog to keep you the them. secret. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, my lord. There's nothing you can oh, do to Don't even her. start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so called charms. Here then, take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Look at you, you complain about it, but Thank now you you're feeding them. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two, quit standing about. All right, we're done with the kitchen. Back to finding Fergus. Let's see, I'm trying to remember how half the map key buttons work here. It's awfully bright. Maybe I should lower the brightness on the next play. Oh, there's a lot of people here. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? Yes, mother. It was dealt with. You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Van Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. Ah, it's a pleasure to meet you again, my lady. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. Hey, you did very well yourself. Don't knock yourself out. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do say something, dear. It is a great honor, my lord. 
I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Oh my. Lady Landra. Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. Well, maybe we can have a personal chat sometime. As it pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. As well as with you, my lady. But I think we're going to end it on this note here, guys. So until next time. <laughs>